guys, Ala Esther Levy here, and on today's segment, we're going to talk about making decisions. I'm sure that a lot of us realize and feel the daunting task of, of decision making, especially when it's a decision that is going to impact you on a, you know, a big scale and feels very heavy, right? Um, I know that for me it could feel very frustrating and it could feel very draining and kind of debilitating on many levels, you know. So I decided to make this video because that's a part of our crazy. That's on some level how we manage making decisions really does help us uh, move forward in many different ways in life. So here's a couple of tips when making a challenging decision. So the first thing you want to do is you want to identify this decision that needs to be made. The second decision, it, or sorry, the second step is you want to get away mentally from the decision itself. So maybe go to work, maybe um, take a walk, maybe listen to some music anything that you can do that can mentally remove you from the spin that is probably happening to you right now as you're trying to make this decision, right? So if you're like me, sometimes I go into a spin and I, I see all the different ways and, and all the different options and so it makes it even worse. So, you know, getting yourself away mentally by one of those, um, activities that I just mentioned could really be an effective way of doing it. The next step is allowing yourself to, uh, when the thoughts come back in, right, because slowly your thoughts will come back in about this particular decision, you want to really, as they're coming in, you want to address what you already know to be true about this particular matter. So let's say you need to decide, you know, to wear blue or black for this next event, right? This is a very simple and, you know, <laughs> ridiculous um, decision in terms of challenging life changing decisions, but I'm just giving you an example. Um, so when the choice comes in of do I date, do I do, do I wear blue or brown, right? Really just connect to that and say, okay, what I know to be true is that blue makes me feel powerful or blue makes me feel happy. Brown makes me feel sad, makes me feel heavy. Understand? So what you will do is you will identify what you already know about the different options. Then the next step is you're going to sit with yourself and you're going to really allow yourself to feel how it is to feel uh, yourself in the blue color. So when I feel, when I wear blue, I feel this way and so that what's gonna what it's gonna do is allow you to feel um, the sensation of how that blue color makes you feel and you're gonna see the difference of how you feel between the two this is one of the most important um, ways of really invoking your emotions when making decisions because a lot of times we want to make decision from a logical and practical sense, right? Which is what we should do. However, your intuition and your feelings are one of the most important tools you can use. So once you realize how you feel between those two options, it will help you get really clear on the decision that you should choose that is in more alignment with where you want to go. And remember that the feeling that feels more at peace, more lighter, more relaxed, is the decision that you should go with. So I hope this helps. And as always, remember that the more you know and understand yourself, 
the more the world will know and understand you too. And remember what's the best that can happen. Take care.